Hey everybody, it's Jake Riley. I'm out here in Denver, Colorado. What I want to do is just do something a little bit different. Get people involved and share my passion with waterfowl, fowling, and duck calling. So each week I'm going to teach you something different. So this week I'm going to teach you um, trying to find the right call, um, hand placement, and also the quack. The easiest one to do out of them all. And like I said, each week I'm going to teach you a different call. So Next week is going to be the greeting call, comeback call, uh, the feeding call, and so so forth each week. But like I said, this week it's just going to be learning what type of call you should use, get familiar with, um, also your hand placement and the quack. A little bit about me is I'm 26 years old. I started calling at the age of seven. My dad bought me an old Buck Gardner call with a tape, and I took off with it from there. Um, so that's a little bit about me. So the first thing I want to talk about is calls. You guys notice I got all these different calls. I got about six calls on my lanyard. You guys don't really need that many calls. As a beginner, go out and get a cheap call. Like I said, Buck Gardner is a really good call. It's easy to learn on and it's cheap. It's like 20, 25 bucks. Um, also another thing about picking out a call, I'd go with a single read opposed to a double read because double read in my opinion takes more air up from the diaphragm and a single read is a lot easier to um, blow in my opinion. But um, getting back to the calls, like I said, go out and get a cheap one. You don't need a high dollar one. I still blow my duck, uh, Buck Gardner call, $25 call, double read. I got a Spit Tech Buck Gardner call. This was 60 bucks. I finally got my first real call. It's an RNT MVP. It's absolutely awesome. But like I said, for beginners, go out and um, get you a cheap call. And by the end of this, you'll be able to blow anything. Um, so that's just my insight on choosing the right type of call. Um, get a cheap call, get a single read, and just learn with it. So the first thing I'm going to teach you is hand placement. So what I like to do is cut my hand like this, place around it, and go down like that. That's how I hold my duck call. I'm sure that's how a lot of people hold their duck calls. So that's hand placement. Um, the second thing is when you're blowing out of your thing, a lot of people, when they come out with the call, they like to do this, okay? They like to do this. Um, I like to do this, but a lot of people do this. Either way, um, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. They both sound good. The reason why I like doing this is because that sound hits off these my hands and it veers off in each direction. If you're doing this, I feel like it's just kind of going out in one direction. That's just my thought process behind it. But that's what I do. So um, the first call I'm going to teach you this week is the basic simple quack. And it's real simple. Um, there's a lot of different words you can use um, while uh, trying to get down the quack. Um, I'm going to use a little trick that I took from Buck Gardner. And it's um, saying the word quit in the back of your call. Um, just to get familiar with it. The word quit works really, really well in my opinion. Um, so a lot of people think it's just blowing. A lot of people think it's But really it comes up from the diaphragm. It's You got to use that air coming up from the diaphragm and push it out. So if you're, if you're blowing in the back of the call, just blowing and not using that air from your diaphragm, it's going to sound like this. If you're using that quit, Quit, like I suggest that you use. Um, you don't have to use that word, like I said, but that's a, just a um, word that I like to use and I suggest using it. So here's what this sounds like. <laughs> Notice the difference right there. It's If you're just blowing into the call, it's... <laughs> if you're using quit to make that quack noise, it's... <laughs> here's what it sounds like on the other opposite end of the call. Like I said, if you're just using the basic blowing in your call deal, yeah, it might sound like a duck, but we're not trying to sound like Donald or Daffy, man. We're trying to sound like a hen mallard on the water, in the air, wherever she may be, giving that simple, that simple confident quack saying, hey, it's okay, come down in here, it's okay. So here's what it sounds like if you're just blowing it. <coughs> so, see, that's just a regular blow, but if you use quit, and you use that air coming up from your diaphragm, this is how it should sound. Um, pretty simple, pretty basic uh, for first time 
uh, you learn how to do the quack. My suggestion about the quack is um, count in between your quacks, um, whether it's one Mississippi, two Mississippi. So it's <coughs> one Mississippi, <coughs> one Mississippi, <coughs> one Mississippi, two Mississippi. <coughs> if you get too fast, that sounds like a lonesome hen alerting all the ducks around, hey, something around here isn't right, and this is what it sounds like. That's when a lonesome hen gets up off the water and she's like, uh oh boys, we need to get out of here. This, this isn't right, we need to get out of here. So pace your quacks in between, like I said, a one Mississippi count or give yourself a two Mississippi count. So once again, it's And that, it's, it's pretty simple. Like I said, I'm gonna go week by week doing different calls. This week was just learning the basic quack. Um, I want to give you a week long to learn it because by next week I want to throw in a couple more notes in there and, and, and that gets you to your greeting call. Um, the reason why I like waterfowling and um, why I got into it at such a young age is because it's just, it's just the nature of the beast, man. You get out there, you're doing stuff, guy stuff with your dad and you're just learning the ropes on how to, how to be a man. I first started going... Um, at the age of six, I think it was, I remember my dad getting up and going and I asked, hey, can I go along? And ever since, I, I didn't understand really what it was about, but I know I just wanted to be my, with my dad hanging out and learning this sport. And like I said, at the age of seven, I, I picked up my first duck call and, and I kind of took off from there. Um, another thing that I wanted to suggest is when you're out in the field, man, don't try to do more than you can. If you can only do a quack, just do a quack. You know, don't try to give that uh, five to seven notes uh, cadence uh, with a whole bunch of ducks coming in. Don't don't do that, man. Um, the best advice I ever got was one time I was trying to do more than I could, and my dad just looked at me and said, "What are you doing?" He goes, "Slow down a little bit." You know, you you barely know how to do the quack. Just do that. And get better at it. Better at it. So I just did a quack in the duck blind for a couple weeks. Then my dad's like, "Okay, add in your three to five to seven note cadence." Okay, once you get good with that, then add in your chuckle. Just do little bit by little bit. Um, another big reason why I'm making these videos is to help get younger kids involved or even grown adults that want to get involved but they're too scared. Um, don't ever be scared to try something new um, and, and, and just go for it. Run with it. Um, a lot of people are scared to call because they think people will make fun of them and whatnot, but just do it. Get out there and enjoy it. you got too many kids out there in this world that just want to be on video games and not be outside or do something else. Get them involved, sports, fishing, hunting, whatever it is, but I think it's a good tool. So like I said, getting back to the quack, it's, just, it's, it's pretty simple. It's basic. I like to use the word quit, and once again hand placement and I can show you guys I can I can do this or I can do that I can do this or I can do that um, once again in the back of your call quit sounds like this in the front of the call it's and remember space it out one Mississippi two Mississippi quack or one Mississippi quack. So basically, that's all I have for you today. Next week, we're going to learn on the... Uh, I'll give you guys a week to practice. Pick that up. Next week, we're going to do the greeting call. Um, a couple of cadences of putting it all together. And after that, we're just going to learn the comeback call, the feeding call, the rolling feed call, the hail call, and all that good stuff. And by the end of all these videos, you guys should sound a little bit something like this. I'm just going to do a little routine for you, but if you keep practicing and practicing and practicing, you're going to get good. I'm going to give a shout out to my little brother because you know what? Growing up, he, he always tries to be, in my opinion, fit, like his big brother, which I'm his big brother. And he, he wasn't that good at calling. And now he's, he's, he's pretty damn good. And uh, it, it just comes with practice and practice and practice. And I, I think the reason why he works so hard is because me and dad are sitting in the, in the blind and calling. And he wanted to be a part of that. He, he saw how awesome it was to work these birds and come in. And um, I give props to him just every day he's grinding. He'll say he's better than me, but he knows he's not. 
but it's just cool to see him develop and, and, and get really good on the calls. So I'm going to do a little routine for you, and at the end of, I think, probably it's going to be six videos I'm going to put out there. You should sound a, a little bit like this. So I'm going to do a little routine for you. This is kind of like a little competition routine, but in the sense, every call that I'm going to do, um, it has something to do with duck calling um, uh, out in the blind as well. So um, like I said, at the end of all these videos that I'm going to teach you week by week, step by step, um, this is what it should sound a little bit like. So here we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this first video. Like I said, week one's all about the quack. Get used to it, learn it. Doesn't matter how you learn it. Every day before you go to school, work, whatever you're doing before you go work out, doesn't really matter what you do. Learn that quack and we'll come back next week. We'll add a little bit more cadence for it to give you that greeting call. Just fine tune it up a little bit. Thanks guys.